hi everyone welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here my name is Moduna welcome today I'm going to be showing you part four of my series on how I make my fenugreek and rosemary infused live-in hair conditioner this series walks you through the process step by step in part one I showed you guys how to extract aloe vera juice from the aloe vera leaf and then in part two I also demonstrated how I make my nourishing hair spray using um, fenugreek seeds cloves and rosemary leaf and then in part three I showed you guys how to create um, an herbal infused hair growth oil and now in part four I'm going to be showing you how I combine everything to make this detangling moisturizing and silky leave-in hair conditioner that your hair is going to love so for step one we're going to prepare the oil phase and to start we will need a jar or a bowl and you're going to add the following ingredients we'll have shea butter which is a deeply moisturizing butter that softens hair and it helps to repair damage and then we have mango butter which is rich in vitamins and antioxidants this butter will nourish the hair and it adds such a glow and a shine to it and then we're going to have BTMS 50 which is a conditioning emulsifier that ensures that your formula or your recipe has a smooth and creamy consistency while helping to detangle your hair effortlessly and lastly we're going to add in the herbal infused hair growth oil this one is very potent you can use it directly on your scalp if you don't add it into your formula love 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 this hair growth oil Step two is going to be the water phase and in the water phase and in a separate jar We're going to add in the hairspray liquid which we made in part two of the series And then we're going to also include the aloe vera juice. This is the juice that we extracted from the aloe vera leaf and then the last part was going to be the glycerin and glycerin is a humectant that attracts moisture to the hair which keeps it hydrated So once that's done, you're going to cover the water phase with a foil just to prevent um, or rather minimize the evaporation when you heat it up because we're going to now add the water phase and the oil phase to a double boiler and um, we're going to heat them up gently until they both reach similar temperatures. So use your thermometer to make sure that the, the temperatures are similar and once the oils and the butters have completely melted you are going to gently pour in the water phase into the oil phase and mix through um, with your spatula before starting the emulsification process with the blender i love to use a blender because it will ensure that it fully combines the oil and the water together and at first the this mixture is going to look liquidy and runny as you can see here but as it cools it will thicken into a creamier uh, consistency so just keep blending i like to blend in like uh, parts for like 60 seconds and then i'll stop blending and then blend it again for another 60 seconds or so allow it to cool down and then you can blend for another 60 seconds or 90 seconds until you see that it's changing and uh, the liquid is becoming more creamy and and thick scrape off the sides to make sure that you're mixing off uh, you're mixing in rather everything together As the mixture cools, check the temperature using a thermometer like I mentioned earlier. Before adding your preservatives or fragrance oils or any additives you're going to uh, want to add to your uh, conditioner, you need to make sure that the temperature is below 104 degrees. 
um, this will ensure that the preservative is effective so just it's important to remember that you need uh, you check the temperature before adding the preservative and just like everything else with the preservative you also want to measure um, how much you're going to add into your mixture I also add in fragrance oils because I like my conditioner to have a little bit of a scent nothing overpowering but this is purely optional you don't need to add a, a fragrance or essential oils to your formula if you don't want any and so at this point you can add in the fragrance oil and the preservative and you can use like a spatula or a hand mixer to just mix everything through making sure that it's you know all the ingredients are incorporated well but you've come to the end your leave-in conditioner is ready to be used it's rich it's thick it's creamy and it's infused with nourishing ingredients that will leave your hair soft silky and tangle free I recently uh, did a big chop so I've started my natural hair journey. I have 4C hair and this hair conditioner has been a lifesaver for me. I love it and I really hope you guys are going to try this formula out. Let me know how it goes for you. Please comment down below if um, this has been helpful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to appreciate all of that. But for now, thank you so much. If you don't want to make your own, please go to www.houseofimela.com and you can purchase your own bottle. I have them on my site ready for you and I will ship all of this goodness to you. Thank you for watching again and I'm going to see you in the next video for now. Take care, be blessed and keep smiling. Bye.